Well, let's now uh, bring you another report. At the place where hundreds of thousands of Jews were murdered and has become one of the symbols of the Nazi extermination machine, the March of the Living takes place once again for the 36th time. Survivors and the hundreds of thousands of grandchildren in Israel see the current situation feels just like the Holocaust. We have more in this report. Marking the 80th anniversary of the deportation of the Hungarian Jews to Auschwitz, but Birkenau, and for the fellow survivors and many loved ones. Who are loved. 81 years after the Warsaw Ghetto uprising, few survivors are still alive to recount the horrors endured. 11 million people died during the Holocaust, including 6 million Jews. Yom Ashwa, Yom Ashwa in Hebrew. The day of the Holocaust falls on the 27th of Nisan in the Hebrew calendar, which coincides with May 6 in the Gregorian calendar this year. It honors the 6 million Jews and commemorates the anniversary of the ghetto uprising, the largest Jewish armed resistance movement against the Nazi military through the Second World War. Marking 80 years, since Hungarian Jews were deported, survivors held light candles during a remembrance ceremony at the Holocaust Museum in Los Angeles. Another survivor of multiple concentration camps spoke as part of a remembrance ceremony. And now for our candle lighting ceremony, I would like to invite the following individuals for our candle lighting ceremony, where we'll light six candles in memory of the six million who perished. Please wait with your applause until they're all on stage. Lighting the first candle are Hungarian-born survivors, Eva Nathanson, Mary Bauer, Dr. George Bercy, Eva Brettler, Erica Fabian, I am getting so emotional. It's so hard for me to continue. I have so much to say, and everybody said it before me. I thank you for being here, for giving me the honor to speak, especially today, because May is my birthday month, and I will be 97 years old in a few weeks. I am here to tell you, and you realize that I am here, and you can watch me and hear me. He didn't win. I am the mother of two sons, the grandmother of three grandchildren. I won. We won. Love won. Thank you. The March of the Living commemorating the victims of the Holocaust also held in Budapest. Nearly 100 Holocaust survivors were transported by electric cars as part of the march heading to the railway station. The 20th March of the Living event will also commemorate the victims of last year's October 7th attack in Israel. The main goal of the international organization is the education and upbringing of young people, primarily non-Jewish people. 3,200 students from all over the world are taking part in this year's International March. Life across Israel came to a halt this morning as a two minutes long siren sounded to mark a moment of silence for Holocaust Remembrance Day. On Holocaust Remembrance Day, places of entertainment are closed and memorial ceremonies are held throughout the country. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected international pressure to halt the war in Gaza in a fairy speech marking the country's annual Memorial Day, declaring if Israel is forced to stand alone, Israel will stand alone. The message delivered in a setting that typically avoids politics 
was aimed at the growing chorus of war leaders who have criticized the heavy toll caused by Israel's military offensive against Hamas militants and have urged the Saad to agree to a ceasefire. Soldiers singing, every person has a name, Holocaust survivors lights and beacons, chanting of Psalm 83, Psalms of Asaph and chanting of Merciful God. Benotnado. 